In my previous video for the Batman comparisons between the SH figures and the Mavex, some of you guys actually mentioned about Masco. Well, let's do it. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and welcome back for another comparison <laughs> video and this time around, yes, it is about the Batman again but I'm going to compare between the Mavex Batman as well as the Masco. And let's get started right away and you can see that from your left is actually the one from Masco Toys and the one from the right is from Mayfax. So from this overall look, both of them looks pretty good but with the inclusions of the scenes from the movie, wow, you can really see the difference now. And still, I think that the Mayfax one still resembles the one from the movie pretty much. And the one from Masco does reminds me of the Christian Bill Batman because of the chest area. Yeah, it looks pretty similar and the one from the Mayfax looks very much the same as the movie. Even this side shot, you can tell that, wow, I mean the Mesco one does looks good but in terms of the similarities to the movie itself, I think the Mayfax one still win a big time. And next, let's take a look at the articulations and from this picture, yes, both of them have a pretty good articulation with the arm coming up. Yep, I can only tell us about the arm because that's the only one they have for the pictures. And you can see is that the Mesco one can raise his arm much better as compared to the SHV Guards but the Mayfax one still can raise almost entirely. So I think that in this case, Mayfax still wins in this case. And next, let's talk about the floating cape. We both know that they all have the wired cape. And from this picture, both of them looks pretty good. I must say is that the Mesco one just looks um, a little bit better but I will still call it a draw because both of them are looking pretty awesome. For the next one, let's take a look at the Amas head of Bruce Wayne. Yes, somehow they can't just get the hair right. Like the one from Mayfax is supposed to have a pretty messy hair upon taking off the cow. And let's compare with the other head from Mayfax with the nicely combed hair. Um, I think that the Mesco one does looks pretty okay. It still have the resemblance to the actor himself, but I still prefer the messy hair one from Mayfax, which makes the likeness even better. Now let's take a look at the stern face of the Batman. Wow, I think both of them looks pretty good. So I would say that they both have a draw. And for this head, my goodness, I think Mayfax one looks pretty odd. It's like he's smiling for a pictures. As for the Mesco, it is pretty good. You can really tell that he's angry there. So in this case, yes, the Mesco one wins. So both of the Batman does come with four different interchangeable heads as you can see. But the Mayfax one will be the one who wins because they actually give two Amas head of Bruce Wayne which I think is pretty good because we all like the Amas head. As for the Mesco, they're just playing around with the, you know, the mouth opening, the mouth closing, you know, it's, it's, the eyes looking to the left. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. So I still prefer the one from Mifax. Let's go to the accessory. Oh my goodness, in this case, you would have known that the Mesco one comes with tons and tons and tons of accessory. So in the terms of accessory, the Mesco one wins big time. Now let's go to the price. As we know, Mesco is never cheap as well as Mayfax. So let's compare the price here. Wow, I didn't expect the Mesco one would be so much more expensive as compared to the Mayfax. Yes, this is the price from BBTS. The one from Mayfax wins because it's of much affordable price. The Mesco one, I think most of the cost actually goes into giving all the accessories to us. Of course, we'll take a look at the release date. Both of them are having quite a late release date as of next year. And even though I don't really collect Mesco, I don't follow their release date at all. I was told that their delay is much more worse than the Mayfax because some figures might not even come out yet, even after two years of pre-order. For example, the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman, I think that was two years ago or more than that. And it's still not released and there's no news about it at all. So from here you can tell that the Mayfax one will come out later than the Mesco but somehow I just have this gut feeling that it will be released sooner than the Mesco. So there you have it, the comparisons with the Mesco. I do think that the Mesco one fares better than the SH figure, at least it, it has some draws and it has some wins as well as compared to the Mayfax. 
but uh, in my opinion I, I still think that the main facts is still more superior as compared to the Mesco and of course it's more superior than the SH3 quads <laughs> so yes I do hope that this comparison video will actually uh, help you decide which one you should go for and I'll catch you again in my next video as always I hope you check out this video right over here